Lache here. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing slash demoing slash aware test of the new Jero. I'm so excited. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Rockefeller Records. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to be trying the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in collaborations with Alicia Ashley. And I'm so excited to be trying this foundation, you guys. Like, I have been seeing nothing but, like, good reviews about it and everything. And it's so amazing because, like, a, a drugstore brand came out with 45 shades. That is huge. And for the price point, they are, let me see, $15, I believe. I have my laptop right here. <laughs> yeah, $15. So, that is huge, you guys. And I'm just... I'm excited and I'm happy for Alyssa Ashley. Congratulations, girl. Yes, you did this. So let me actually go to the website because I don't remember everything because it's still new to me. Yeah. It says it is a lightweight, waterproof, pigmented AF. Our new Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage foundation hustles as hard as you do. This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. So right now, off back, it's lightweight, waterproof, pigmented AF, and it's not going to transfer. Okay, and it's full coverage. I'm with it so far. Okay, it also says every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. Our little overachiever also works to control shine, mattify your complexion all day long. Mm, mm, mm. Mattifying, yes. Control shine, yes. I'm here for it. Okay. It also says, but it doesn't stop there. This foundation is non communogenic and suitable for normal combination and sensitive skin types. So y'all like all all of that. I'm here for it. So I'm so excited to be trying this. I also picked up the um the primer for it. So this is the Can't Stop Won't Stop matte primer and i'm gonna read about this too the primer retails for 14 dollars. it is 0.84 fluid ounce it says can't stop one stop matte primer will always go to the matte for you the new comfortable formula preps your complexion for super smooth foundation application and a matte finish just spread the creamy primer evenly over the skin and gently tap to set then complete your shineless look with its bestie. Can't stop, won't stop, full coverage foundation. So you guys, I'm so excited to try both of these. So, okay, foundation is a one fluid ounce and it retails for 14. The primer is 0.84 fluid ounce and retails for 14. So first things first, I'm gonna start off by prepping my skin. So let's get into this primer. So with the primer, it said to smooth to do an even layer and pat to set the primer in place. So off back, it kind of, uh, it's just like a light, uh, clear color. And I'm just gonna smooth it where I'm oily the most. So for me, it's my T-zone area. Oh, it did knock the shine off really well, so that's good. Wow, it knocked the shine off really good. And it does feel um, sticky. Which I like, I don't mind that because I feel like the foundation is going to stick better <laughs> to the skin or not stick, but it's going to last longer on my skin. So the brush that the NYX had to go with the foundation, I had a brush similar to it already. It's this brush, it's the Sephora Finish and Powder Brush, um, but I like to use it for foundation and I was like, well, I'm not going to buy another brush because I already have something similar to it, so I'm just going to use this one. So the foundation color I got is um, Nutmeg, it is the 16.5. I was going to get the Alyssa Ashley shade, um, but looking at it, it, it looked like it would have been a little bit too light for me, so I'm just going to do this one. I just went one shade darker. So it does uh, recommend to shake it up really well first, and I'm just going to do about one pump. And I love the fact that this comes in a pump. Like, I love foundations that come in a pump because it's less mess and it's less, you know, you're not using so much product that you don't need. Okay, and I didn't, I'm pretty good at like, 
a color match myself with like drugstore foundation so I'm not too worried about the shade if it is like a little bit on the darker side that's totally fine because I feel like when I when my foundations are too light and then I highlight and everything I just look really washed out so I don't mind if my foundations are darker I'll just um, highlight with a concealer and it like balance out everything so off back the coverage is there the coverage is definitely there the color looks really good so far so good you guys it definitely looks like skin too like it doesn't look like cakey makeup which i love and it don't even feel heavy on my skin either i'm gonna see if it cover up these little blemishes i'm not gonna do any uh, concealer just because i want to see the type of coverage that it really gives okay that did pretty well it covered it up pretty well so that's good wow look at that look how pretty that looks i'm liking it so far you guys like look at this look how just smooth it looks really even it looks really 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 pretty it looks just like skin so i'm loving it okay so next i'm gonna move right along to concealer and i'm gonna be using the nyx hd studio concealer and this is in the shade cw 6.5 so i'm just going to go underneath my eye area and on camera i feel like the foundation is a little looking a little bit more darker but like in person it's like the perfect color like my perfect perfect color i never had like a foundation where it's like the perfect color for my skin tone like it was either like too light or it was like too dark so this is like amazing that is the perfect color for me all right then i'm just gonna take my good old beauty blender and blend out and the way that I like to do my concealer now, um, I don't do a lot of concealer right underneath the eye area because I feel like it creases so much and it looks really cakey. So what I do, I start most of my concealer kind of like right under here, like right in this area and then just kind of blend whatever's left up. I feel like that way it doesn't look like it's so much product underneath the eye and it look a little bit more natural like it you see how it kind of like balance out with the concealer and everything so i'm going to take beautiful bronze and y'all know what i really want to get i don't know why i haven't gotten it yet but the fenty um contouring sticks those are bomb you guys those are like my favorite like when i'm doing like clients at work I always use those to contour because I love how like even though it looks like you put on a lot once you blend it out it looks so natural and it looks so like skin like so I'm like oh, I need like all of those shades <laughs> all right now so I'm gonna set underneath my eyes I'm gonna use my Ben Nye banana um, loose powder so I'm not gonna put it directly underneath my eye area because I feel like it looks really cakey like that but I am going to bake Definitely around my nose because I get really shiny there. Well, I haven't went in like this in a long time. So I'm going to remove this immediately because I don't bake down there too long. Literally for about a couple seconds. Okay, but what I am going to do, I am going to finish my eyes off camera and then I will be right. Alright guys, so I am back. This is my finished, completed look. Do y'all like it? I love it. I feel like this is like my fall time look. This is kind of like my intro to fall. Because I'm going to be busting out some makeup tutorials for fall. And I think I might recreate this look if y'all want me to. Let me know down in the comments below. But let's talk about this foundation though. This foundation looks so freaking good, y'all. High key, I'm really, really, really liking the way this foundation looks. Like the color, I love the color because it matched me like perfect. I don't have to mix it with anything. And like with my highlight and everything or my concealer, it just looks amazing. So I definitely feel like it's more of a, I don't feel like it's matte, matte, like a matte foundation. I feel like it's more of a, like a natural matte. It doesn't look like flat because you know when you put on some matte foundations how they look um, kind of just like a flat like nothing, no shine or nothing. This one still had like a little shine to it. However, I did kind of like 
took some of that shine away with like some powder and everything because I know I'm going to get a little shiny throughout the day. So today I'm going to test out this foundation and see how it wears throughout the day. Um, Morphe, they are opening up a new store in Dallas. So I'm going to go over to the Galleria and check it out. So I'm just going to see how long it lasts throughout the day and how I like it. But so far, so good. Like, usually time, like legit, right after probably about 10 or 15 minutes after I put on the foundation, I start to get really shiny around this part of my nose, like no matter what. And I'm not shiny at all, so I'm loving that. Now, mind you, I did, like, bake a little bit longer. So that may play a factor in it, but um, <clears throat> it just looks, I just I just like the way this foundation looks. So, my highlight, y'all, oh my god, look. This is my first time using this, like, legit my first time. I had it in my drawers for such a long time, but I never used it. And I'm like, oh, I should just use it today. So, I have it in my tear duct, and I also have it for my highlight, and I'm loving the way it looks. So, Yes, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm going to go ahead and go on with my day because the event started at 12. It's already 12.37. So let me go ahead and go. Y'all, so this is the line. It's all the way around the corner outside. And I'm not going to sit in here. I'll go another day. There's too many dang people here. Hey, you guys, welcome back. So I legit just woke up from a nap. We went to the mall. It was so freaking packed. Like, the line was legit around outside the store around the corner and outside like outside outside so i was like i'm not about to wait in this line i already know like what they have what murphy sells and stuff like that so i was like i'll just come back another day when it dies down so it is 4 52 almost five o'clock so my makeup been on for about mm, we just say five hours I am shiny in my T-zone. Of course, I haven't touched up. I haven't touched it at all. Um, so this is just me just wearing it throughout the day. And this is what it's looking like after five hours. So I am shiny. I am oily in my T-zone area. Everywhere else, however, looks fine. Like here, here. Again, I'm pretty combination, obviously. So super shiny in my T-zone, but normal everywhere else. I'm going to black because... I can't look like this because it look a hot mess. Hold on. So I'm gonna, just going to take some black opal invisible oil blocking powder. This is what I like to use to touch up. And I haven't used this in a long time. But this works really well if you need to touch up. If you're like really oily. This or like um, oil blocking pads and stuff works really good too. But... but the foundation still looks really good even after I blot it and everything. So I would definitely say this is a one. I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like this is going to be one of my favorite foundations. Just because like it didn't even take that much to like uh, touch up or anything. And it still looks really good, you know. And the color's still there. The cover's still there. It didn't even transfer. Like when I was laying on the couch, it didn't get on my pillows or anything. So I would definitely say this is really good coverage. It is transfer proof. The 24 hour part of longevity of the foundation, I'm still gonna have to test a little bit. I feel like I kinda wanna wear it a little longer cause five hours, I mean, that is a long time, but for some people, some people wear it for at least eight to 10 hours. So I wanna test it um, maybe when I go to work and wear it to work or when I know I'm going to have a really long day. Because I thought today was going to be a long day. But it really wasn't. So, um, yes. But other than that, like I said, the foundation is a really good foundation. It lasted pretty well throughout the day for however long I had. And even after I touched up, I didn't want to touch up or anything until like I sat back down here. And you guys see exactly how it looks. Um, but other than that, I like the foundation a lot. I will definitely purchase it again if I run out. A little goes a long way with this foundation too. You can literally do one layer and you can be fine. If you want a little bit more coverage then I would say two. But a lot of foundation. The primer however I would probably do maybe like the Becca Ever Matte Primer if I since I seen how it looked and how it lasted. I would probably definitely do a different primer, something a little bit more mattifying um, on my skin and i will probably see how that works 
but I mean it did feel really tacky which I liked um, so I feel like it'll help keep the foundation on long which it did like especially around here but in my t-zone I feel like I need something a little bit more heavy duty to hold the makeup to help control my shines and everything but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please give me a thumbs up if you did if you tried this foundation let me know your thoughts about it let me know what you liked about it some things if you didn't like it let me know let me know let's chat leave all the comments down in the comment section and I will get to them and as always subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on all my social networks so Instagram snapchat and Facebook all at Kanisha Lachey so until next time you guys, I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!